What is going on guys? I am back with part 3 on how to build this colonial style house and in this video I plan on finishing the exterior of the house and if we have time I'll also be doing the landscaping. Okay, so we're going to start out by doing the windows for the roof of the house first. So you're going to need some pillar quartz blocks, white stained glass panes, blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, and dark oak wood stairs. Alright, let's head on over to the roof where the garage is and we're going to have two one block wide windows right above here. So I'm going to go off to the left. And we're going to be counting this quartz stair and then three more wood stairs. On the fourth block, we're going to carve out one space there. So three blocks of stairs, one quartz stair. And keep in mind, we still have one block of space below where we have this hole. Now you want to cut out two more spaces. So we have three spaces in total. On the left and on the right is going to be a pillar quartz block. In the middle is just going to be the one block wide window. Now you can skip over four more spaces. One, two, three, four. On the fifth block, go ahead and carve out three more. And then you should have three more spaces remaining until you reach that wall. So a window there and a window there. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the design for this section. And then we're going to have the same windows at the back side, which I'll probably just skip over. So as soon as I, as soon as I show you this, you guys will get the idea for the design. And then I'll just go ahead and do all of the rest of the windows. Anyways, make sure you have your pillar quartz block. We're going to be placing one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do the same thing here as well as for this side. So I guess I'll just do the windows both at the same time. So there we go. Now you can switch to your quartz stair and place it upside down at the top in the middle space. Then below this, you could place a block in between the spaces at the bottom. You could then switch to your white stained glass paints, fill in the three spaces in the middle to actually make the window. Now you can switch back to your quartz stairs and place one upside down on each side at the top edge of the pillar. Okay, and then we're going to start forming the triangle shape. So I'm going to start over here at this left side. We're going to place a regular one, then a regular one again, upside down in the middle facing that direction. Then we're going to put a quartz slab on top of that, then a regular and a regular again. So it makes this triangle shape. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So regular, regular, as well as this side. So regular, regular, just like facing up. You guys know what I mean. And then upside down and a slab on the top. Okay, now continue with your slabs. You could place two upside down, or not upside down, but underneath all of that space on each side of the window. And then you could go ahead and push this back. One, two, until you just meet up with the wood. It's not going to be actually like in the wood, but it still looks fine. It also adds a lot more detail to the windows. We're going to do the same thing on that side as well as for this window. All right, you can then switch to your dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place one, two, three, and we'll go ahead and just continue doing that. One, two, whoops, two, three, and then four. You can see it's not curving in. We still have to delete all the blocks in the middle, but for now, we'll just leave it like that. We'll do the same thing on this side. So three, then four here at the top. I actually forgot a block. Let me go ahead and just grab that. We need a dark oak wood slab. I don't know how I forgot that. My bad. So yeah, go ahead and get some dark oak wood slabs. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. And that one is attached the way it should be. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. So one, two, three on each side. Then four on the next layer. And then we're going to have five slabs in the middle. Okay, now let's just go ahead and delete these windows and we're going to be deleting all of these wood stairs within this space underneath. 
So you can just delete them like that. Whoops, I went way too far with these. I don't know how that happened. Let me go ahead and place those. Okay, so you just want to be on the inside and carve out a space. And then you also want to make sure all of the stairs kind of like curve with each other. So as you can see, everything is curved and the way it should be. So I'll make it a little bit easier to see over on uh, that side. I've never really done it like this before. I don't know how this happened. This might be a little bit confusing, but you could go ahead and switch to your blocks of quartz. Place one here at the bottom. Make sure you still have two spaces of quartz underneath. And then you could place two more going towards the back. So one here, above that, two more. So now on the exterior, exterior there isn't going to be an opening. We just kind of like patched it all up. You could go ahead and replace that now. Go on this side. We'll go to the inside and we'll do one, two, three, four. On the left, one, two, three. On the right, one, two, three. So that was a lot better to understand. Sorry if that side was a little bit confusing. Okay, so we have that all taken care of. We'll go back on the inside. Once again, make sure you have two spaces with the pillar quartz. On the third block, you could place one on each side. Above that, two going towards the inside of the building. Go back on the outside, replace your glass, and there you go. Now we have two windows for the roof on the front side, right above the garage. Now I'm gonna head over to the back side, still at the same area. We just wanna make sure we're lined up with the windows at the front. So, once again, make sure you have one space remaining at the bottom. We'll go to the right, we should have a quartz block and then three blocks of wood. On the fourth space, we could start cutting out three like that. Skip over four spaces. On the fifth block, cut out another three. So you have three spaces remaining until you reach that wall. Now we're gonna have the same window designs back here that we did at the front. So I'll do this one back here one more time and then I'll skip over that one. So once again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then a full block of quartz at the bottom. Upside down stair at the top. Then we won't place the glass for right now because we still have to delete the wood. Then with your quartz stair. Oh yeah, at the front, just upside down facing in that direction. Then two on each side going up to form the triangle shape. Another one upside down and then a slab on the top. Continue with your slabs, two on each side underneath the stairs, and then two more going towards the back. Whoops. So it's three in total. So we already have one, two, and three. Now switch to your dark oak wood stairs. Three on this layer, four on the second layer. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then five slabs in the middle. All right, now we'll head on to the inside. One, two, three, four, right down the middle. And then three on the left and right side. Now on the exterior, it should have all curved together. We'll go back in, do a block of quartz, and then two on the top, still with two remaining at the bottom. Replace, or no, fill in our glass. We never deleted it this time, so just fill in the glass. And there we go. We have that window. So hopefully you guys got the idea. We're going to be doing another one right there. Two here at the back and three towards the front. I'll show you that in a second. Let me just go ahead and finish this window here. Okay guys, I'm just now finishing up this window. And there we go, so it's matching that one. And they should also be lined up with the front ones. Okay, so I guess I'll just head back up to the front side of the house and we'll start doing the windows for the roof at the main section. Next, we're gonna be doing the windows for the roof for the main section of the house. So I'm gonna be starting over here at the left side. And in this case, we want two spaces remaining at the bottom, not just one. It's gonna be two up here. So you wanna make sure you're on the third block going up. So we have one, two, and then be on the third block. Now you wanna go over to the right with five spaces of wood. So we have one, two, 
three, four, five spaces of wood. Now you want to go on the sixth block and cut out three. So once again, five spaces of wood here and then a block of quartz. So we have three spaces cut out there. Now we want to count over seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth block, cut out three. Skip over another seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth block, one, two, three. And you should have five spaces of wood remaining on this side and one space of quartz. Once again, make sure you just have two spaces remaining here at the bottom, below, below the hole we just cut out. So we cut out three holes right there. Now, we're going to be doing the same window design that we did at those windows above the garage. So we want one, two, three, four. In this case, we don't need the one on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I guess you really don't need the one at the bottom uh, for this space. So you only really need four instead of that fifth one at the, like, below. Uh, I just decided to make it a little bit easier so we place off of the brick there. But in this case, just make sure you have one, two, three, four in height. I'm going to do the same for all the rest of these spaces. Okay, there we go. We brought all the all of those pillars up. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm messing up a lot, guys. Uh, I need to, like, slow down or something. Um, but, yeah, we have all the... All of th wow i'm sorry <laughs> we have all of the pillars brought up where the windows are going to be so we're going to have the same design that we did for all of those windows down there so i guess i'll go ahead and skip over this uh i'll show you this one just in case once again so upside down quartz stair a block in the middle if you guys don't need me to show you this then um i guess i'll just put a time on the screen until i reach like the fast forward part so uh, I'll just go ahead and show you one more time. So actually, let's not fill that in quite yet. So we have the upside down stair, a block of quartz below, four layers of uh, pillars, then upside down stairs on each side, then bring up the stairs, two on each side, and then one upside, what the heck? One upside down in the middle with a slab on top. Then continue with your dark oak wood stairs and push this back three spaces for the bottom layer, four spaces for the second layer, and then five slabs for the third layer. All right, and then we want one, whoops, one, two, three, and then to the left. One, two, three, and two is the right. We'll go on the inside. One, two, three, four spaces. Three on each side. Okay, and then switch to your full blocks of quartz. One on each side, and then two above that. Okay, and then we'll go back out here and fill in our white stained glass panes. And there we go. We have that window taken care of. So now I'm going to be doing the same thing for these spaces here. All right, guys, I'm just now finishing up the last window. So you should have three in total at the front side of the house. Okay, now we'll head to the back. And you just, we're gonna have two back here. We're not gonna have that one to the left. We just want these two here. We're gonna be lining them up once again. So I'll start over here at the right. Just make sure, I guess to make it easier, we'll just uh, line it up like that. Make sure you have two spaces remaining at the bottom. And then on the third space, you could cut out three. So once again, just make sure you have five spaces of wood and then a block of quartz. We'll go over to the left, seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth block, go ahead and cut out three. So now I'm going to be doing the same two windows back here that we did at the front and for the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over this part. You guys should have the hang of it by now. Uh, if not, just, I guess uh, you could go back to the ones that I showed you how to do it and just do it for this section as well.
All right, guys, once again, I'm just now finishing up with this window. So now I have two at the back side, and they're lined up with the ones at the front. Okay, so I guess I'll head back up to the front of the house. We could start doing the little porch, kind of like a... Um, it's like a balcony, but it's more for decoration, and it's like a porch for the first floor, for the front door. So uh, I guess we'll start doing that. Then we have a little bit of a covered porch area back here with wood and uh, oak leaves, like bushes. But we'll start over here at the front. We'll start doing the little porch. We'll do that at the back. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to really have time for the landscaping. I might just do that in the next video. So we'll do this front porch. We'll do the back patio space. And then, oh yeah, I almost forgot. We have the chimney as well. So by the time we get all that done, I'll probably just end it. And then in part four, I'll be doing the landscaping. Okay, guys, for the balcony slash covered porch area at the front side of the house, it's actually a lot easier than I thought. So we should definitely have time for the landscape work after we get the rest of the exterior of the house done. But you're going to need some pillar quartz blocks, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, blocks of quartz, iron trap doors, and a sea lantern. Okay guys, so you want to go ahead and grab some quartz stairs. You want to make sure you're lined up with these windows on each side of the door. So we're lined up with this one on the left. You want to skip over three spaces towards like the front side of the house. So we have one, two, three. Now on the fourth block, spin around and place four quartz stairs in a shape like that. So this quartz stair has three spaces of glass between that one and the window. Okay, make sure to leave one space in the middle. That's where we're going to bring our pillar up. We're going to be doing the same thing on this side. So we have one, two, three on the fourth block. Just make a little bit of a shape with the quartz stairs. Okay, switch to your pillar quartz block. And we want to bring this up seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll hurry up and bring this one up to the same height. Okay, there we go. So now we have the pillars. Now, on top of this, you can switch to some blocks of quartz, go towards the back, or like towards the wall of the house, and just wrap around a rectangular shape like this. So don't overhang it or anything. This is going to be like the platform for the balcony. And then you could go ahead and fill all of this in. So as of right now, just make sure you have this. So seven spaces in total with your pillar quartz block. But as of right now, you're seeing only six. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the seventh block is inside of the stairs. And then your four stairs at the bottom and a layer of quartz at the top. All right, let's continue working out of the balcony now. You can then switch to your quartz slabs, go underneath and place a layer right underneath all of these full blocks of quartz. All right, there we go. Now, you can switch to your quartz stairs, go around the edge of the full blocks of quartz, and just place them upside down. Just wrap them all the way around until you meet up with the wall. You could actually replace these corners with quartz slabs just to give this a little extra detail. Just adds a little bit of a different shape to the corners. All right, let's go back underneath. Place an upside down quartz stair on each side of the pillar on the inner side like that. Then we want an upside down one right above these windows that we have here for the house. As well as this side of the pillar. So we have six upside down stairs in total. Now you can fill in all the spaces in between those stairs with quartz slabs. And just make sure you have half a space in between like a half block gap in between these stairs and slabs and the slabs up here. All right, so there we go. Now let's start doing the railings for this balcony area. So you can use your quartz stairs and just place them upside down right above all of those stairs that we placed down below. Okay, let's replace these corners with quartz slabs as well. And then you want to go on every other block and do a slab once again. So there's going to be two slabs on each side. So we have a slab there and a slab there. 
And then you want to do the same thing on this side. So right here and right there. Okay, so now we have the railing for the balcony. Let's go. Oh, wait, I forgot to do the front. So we want a gap here, here, and here. My bad. I totally forgot. I didn't even notice that. There we go. So we have three in total at this space. So one, two, and three. And then obviously the ones on the corners, but we're not counting those. Now, we're going to cut out a hole here in the middle and replace it with a sea lantern. So a full block of quartz and a slab will be deleted. Then you want to replace this hole with a sea lantern. Cover this top part up with an iron trap door. The reason why I didn't make this iron trap door at the same layer as these floors is because this balcony is more as like a decoration and not to be walked on. So I thought it still looked fine with the iron trap door kind of like going out of the floor like that. Then below here we could cover that up and there we go. And that's going to be it for the front balcony slash porch area. We can then head to the back side of the house. And we're going to start doing the little patio space. It's very simple. We'll do the chimney. And then I guess we should definitely have time to do the landscaping. So let's do this covered porch area back here. Next, we're going to start doing the covered patio space here at the back side of the house. So, you're going to want to grab some dark oak wood fences and oak leaves. That's really all you're going to be needing for right now, at least. So, you want to make sure you're lined up with these bricks right here and the granite, I guess, uh, on the left side of the doorway. And you want to skip over five spaces of grass. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, you want to place one right here. And now you want to place another one on the right edge of that window. So on the right edge of the gray concrete, place another one. So we have five spaces in total from the house of grass until we reach the fence. Now we want to bring this up. One, two, three, whoops, three, four, man, it's hard to place. And five. So it's six in total. So I'll go on this side. So one, two, three, four, five so it's six in total including that bottom one so we're just like run one space above these stairs here now you could go ahead and just fill in all of this space within these spaces of or in between all of the wood stairs that we just brought up or fences whoops and now within this shape you want to continue filling this all in and then on top of all of these wood fences we're going to start placing a bunch of random oak leaves All right, there we go. The reason why I left the concrete here and not right here for the house is because with the oak leaves, I decided to just overhang them a little bit. So now the shape for the concrete is lined up with those bushes. So I thought I'd just add one extra block of space just in case for the entire house itself. So if you're wondering why there is nothing on this concrete and it's still just completely empty, then that's why. Okay, so I really, honestly, I don't even know why I said that. I wouldn't even worry about it. But now I just want to randomize a bunch of oak leaves on top of this wooden structure here. Just to make it look a little bit better than just leaving it empty. And I'm just going to hang down some leaves in every other space just every once in a while. All right, I would say that's pretty good. So there we go. Just make sure to randomize it pretty well. I think that's good. Oh, you know, it's pretty empty here. Let me, there we go. Okay, so we have that taken care of. We still have to do like all of the floors and stuff. But as of right now, we have the like house part taken care of. When we start doing the landscaping, we'll do the platform there and we'll do like the grill and stuff. But as of right now, just make sure you have it looking like this. All right, guys, now we're going to start doing the chimney. So if you're looking at the house from the front side, I'm at the right side of the house. And you're going to need some blocks of andesite, cobblestone, diorite, 
cobblestone stairs and some cobwebs just to add a smoke effect at the top for just a little extra decoration. Okay guys, so the chimney is going to be three blocks wide. So what I'm going to do is go to the top corner of this roof. We're going to start in the middle, delete a stair and the slab, and then a stair on each side. So we cleared out three spaces. Now I'm going to use my andesite, bring this all the way up right down the middle. We're going to stop it here for now. And then we want two more blocks on top of that. Okay, now I'm going to go back down, bring up another pillar of andesite. So starting right here, we're lined up with a stair. Then we want to bring it up three more spaces after that. So one, two, and three. And then we'll bring this all the way down. Now we want to push this out one extra layer. So you're on top of the shape that you made for the dimensions of the build. So I'm on top of the concrete in this case. And we have that all taken care of. All right. Now I'm going to use my cobblestone stairs and place two on each side like that. Then I'm going to continue using my andesite. I'm going to place maybe like one, two, three four that should be good i think four is good and then we'll switch back to our cobblestone stairs place one and two so they're facing it that direction or like opposites so it makes a cool little shape like that i was then going to use my cobwebs place one here then i want to just go diagonal maybe another three and delete the one at the bottom so it just makes a diagonal shape like that and it looks like smoke from like all the way back here it looks pretty cool Okay, now we want to add a bunch of texture to the chimney. So I'm going to start using my cobblestone. I'm going to just cut out a bunch of random holes throughout the chimney and replace it once again with cobblestone. All right, guys. So I just finished cutting out a bunch of random holes throughout the chimney. I think that's pretty good. Oh, you know what? It's pretty empty over here. Let me go ahead and cut out some spaces on this side. All right, let's go up here. Maybe cut out one. What about this side? Uh, I would say one more like right around there. Just try to even it out. So now what I want to do is just fill in all of these holes with cobblestone for now. There we go. So now we added all of our cobblestone just to give a little bit more texture. Now I'm going to switch to my diorite and I'm going to be doing the same exact thing. So I'm just going to cut out a bunch of random holes, replace them with diorite. All right, guys, I cut out a bunch of random holes. Once again, I'm going to be replacing all of that with andesite now. Or no, not andesite, diorite. Okay, how does that look? Do we fill it all in? I would say maybe like an extra block there. And I think it should be good. I think that's pretty good. All right. Now, what we're going to do is use our cobblestone stairs. And this is just going to be used to cut out maybe some holes. And just add a lot more texture to the build once again. Or to the chimney once again. And it's not going to make it completely like perfect. No holes or anything. It's just going to add a, a, a lot better effect to the chimney. So I'll go ahead and cut out maybe two spaces here. Replace that with some cobblestone stairs. Maybe just one right there. One over here on this side. And then maybe we could do another one here. So we'll face it that direction and like that. So it curves in. Uh, let's go ahead and have one kind of like wrapping around the side like that. We'll do another one there. And we'll do maybe two right here kind of wrapping around. I would say another one back there. That's a, this side's a little bit empty. Let me add one more down there. 
And I'll actually do one here at the bottom as well. Kind of curve that in. All right. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever done this, but we could place some like upside down. I don't think I've ever done it like that. Let me go back and maybe do that a little bit. Yeah, I can't believe I've never thought of doing that. I'm not sure if I've done that in another one of my builds, but I don't think so. Let's head back up. Maybe place one here. Then we could do like an upside down one wrapped around like that. And we don't really want any up here. You know what? I think I am going to have one maybe like right there. Okay, I think that should be pretty good. It's pretty evened out. All right. So there we go. Now we have the chimney taken care of. And that is actually like everything for the exterior of the house. So we still have a little bit, like a little thing right there underneath that covered space, like the covered porch area. But as of right now, like the main exterior of the house is done. And you know what, guys? I think that's all I'm going to be doing for this video. So we'll do the landscaping in part four. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for part three on how to build this colonial style house. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part four. Later.